There everyone, it's great to see you. Welcome to the Crib 2 News at Noon. I'm Shannon Curtis in for Laura Papetti today. Former President Donald Trump is insisting that he did nothing wrong. This morning, he addressed the public just one day after a New York jury found him guilty of all of the charges in his so-called hush money trial. CBS's Michael George has more from outside of Trump Tower, where the presumptive GOP presidential nominee spoke. Donald Trump is vowing to fight on. A day after a guilty verdict made him the first former president and presumptive Republican presidential nominee to be a convicted felon. This is a scam. There's a rigged trial. It shouldn't have been in that venue. We shouldn't have had that judge. Twelve Manhattan jurors deliberating for more than 11 hours over two days found Trump guilty on all 34 counts of falsifying business records related to a payment made to adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election to keep her quiet about an alleged sexual encounter. The only voice that matters is the voice of the jury, and the jury has spoken. Trump's lawyer Todd Blanche said the trial was flawed from the start. Because of everything around the, the lead up to this trial, it, it made it very difficult for, for the jury to, 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 to evaluate the evidence kind of independent of what they knew coming in. Trump could face prison time, but many legal experts say that's unlikely. I don't see personally him being sentenced to prison time. I personally think there will be heavy fines um, and some sort of uh, heavy probation. Sentencing is set for July 11th, just days before the Republican National Convention. An early voter reaction appears split along party lines. I don't think he got a fair trial. I don't think it changed how I would vote in November. Boo hoo. I'm so sorry, Trump supporters. He went losing, so do you. The Trump campaign says it raised nearly $35 million in the hours following the verdict. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Now, President Biden also spoke this morning, making his first in-person comments about Trump since yesterday's verdict. He says the ruling proves that the rule of law works and called out the former president for some of his comments. It's reckless. It's dangerous. It's irresponsible. For anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. The president made today's comments at a news conference that was focused on a possible ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas. We'll have much more on that coming up on the Crime 2 News at 4. Now, when it comes to the fallout from the Trump verdict, our Seattle station asked former state attorney general Rob McKenna and former governor Gary Locke about it. They both say that this is likely not going to have a major impact in the upcoming presidential election. It'll definitely motivate his base. But it's not a good thing for him, obviously. It, it'll, hurt his, it'll hurt his prospects overall. I'm not sure that it's really going to affect the election that much. Uh, it may actually help his chances to raise money among his hardcore base. Uh, but among the undecideds and those who uh, uh, are concerned about the rule of law and the image and the, uh, 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 the example that a president sets for the rest of the country and for the future generations, uh, I think it will hurt him in some of the key swing states. Now, coming up a little later in this half hour, we will continue our coverage with a look at whether Trump can pardon himself. In the meantime, though, if you like more coverage of Trump's trial, you can head over to Crim 2 Plus. It's free to download on your Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. While emotions ran high yesterday as a jury found Chad Daybell guilty on all counts, Daybell was found guilty of killing his late wife Tammy and his current wife Lori Vallow's children, JJ and Tylee. It was a case that Idaho prosecutors say was fueled by power, money, and apocalyptic beliefs. Now family and friends of the victims say they feel relief. I was praying for a just verdict, and we got it. The pressure's been taken off your shoulders just knowing that the verdict's done, he's there, he's... He's not getting out. Chad Daybell now faces the death penalty. His wife, Lori Vallow, was sentenced to life in prison last summer for the same crimes. All right, now let's get outside to the weather with Brandon T. Jones this yeah. noon hour. Now, Brandon, you've been bringing all the good vibes. You brought them to us on Up With Crim this morning. Yeah. What do the good vibes have in store for us this weekend weather-wise? 
Well, Channing is about 12.05, 12.06 right now, and I would officially say it is warm here in the inland northwest. That sun's been hitting down on us, and it's uh, way different than kind of that chilly start that we got a bit earlier this morning. And you can see right there on your screen, people out in Coeur d'Alene are already taking advantage of it. I saw a couple of people dipping their toes into the water, some going a little bit further. So it is a excellent Friday to kick off our weekend. Here's your weather headlines for the day. Of course, it's a sunny Friday. Temperatures warming up. I got something there at the bottom that uh, I want to keep in mind as well, though, because we'll have a couple of pretty good days and then towards the end of Sunday, we're going to be expecting some scattered rain showers and lead us into Monday. Currently though, right now, 66 degrees. Winds moving about 11 miles per hour. But as mentioned, I'll go ahead and take a full look at your forecast a bit later here at noon.